Discovery Sport, not mine, this is Kate's. Um, turns out it's not only teenagers that don't like cold mornings, apparently batteries don't like cold mornings either. Right, so Kate's just bought this car, and one thing she said, Simon, can we have a look at it? It's, it doesn't like cold mornings. It comes up with a battery warning. So here we go, let's have a look. Is it still there? It's still there. Can we zoom in? Well, I think that's probably got it. Or oh, press the zoom. There you go. It's got a lot of reflection on it. Oh, there you go. Ooh. Hold on, I'll get it, there you go. So it says low battery, please start the engine. So let's have a look, how low is the battery? Let's, we'll put the voltmeter on it and we'll see if it does indeed, God, that is loads of reflection on that screen. Um, we will see what the battery voltage, when we start it, does the battery voltage increase from 12 to 14? We could disconnect the battery, that's a bit of a palab, we might do, and put the magic, battery capacity checker on it and see what the battery capacity is like so where shall we start right let's open the bonnet and have a look where the battery is right so let's have a look under the so these are these funny little two-part clips there we go let's give him a oh, i don't want to break it it's your car kate Come on. You just buy me a new one. Oh, sorry. <laughs> there you go. It's going there. Right. You just borrow the Defender, eh? Yeah, well, like, well yeah. I'll fix it. Yeah. I'll have a courtesy car. Car, yeah. That's what we offer at our garage. <laughs> Haven't you watched any of my videos, Kate? Um, Haven't you seen how bad I am at working on cars? Yeah, wow. Well, <laughs> no comment. <laughs> no comment. Right then. So here we go. So under that little cover there, look. We have got a battery. Look, we've got an Exide AGM battery. He looks flashed, doesn't he? So there we go. So we've got a positive terminal here, I believe. They don't make it very, very red, do they? But there's a little pus sign there. See, it's got like a red lead here going to the negative, which will confuse a lesser man than my good self. Right then. So let's have a go. Oh, woman. Right then. Let's have a look what our standing battery voltage is. Right, get the voltmeter, put it on DC volts, not AC volts, and let's have a look. What am I guessing? If it's above 12, I'm going to be happy. Let's get the plus and the negative the right way around, not that it really matters. Straight on to the terminal. 12.45. I'm going to say I'm fairly happy with that. Um, right, I'm going to just try and see if we can jam those in the little connection somewhere. And then what we'll do is we'll start the car. But we'll have to do this. We'll go and start the car and then we'll have a look what the battery voltage is with the car running. Here we go. Let's try not to run you over. What have we got? Automatic. Right, here we go. Right, so the battery voltage should be increasing. What? It's going, it's going down. What's that? Oh, it's going up and down. It's got some battery voltage. We should be getting up to 14. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Now yeah. We're so we now know the alternator's working. We've got, that's good. So we know the alternator's good. We know the charging system's all good. So let's look at battery capacity next. Right, so we have now got this box of witchcraft out, which is our battery capacity tester. So a battery holds a certain amount of charge and that's measured in amp hours. So I'll have a look. They'll be, it'll be written on here somewhere how many amp hours it's got. You're good at reading, Kate. Oh, there's something oh. here. 80, 80 AH, so that's 80 amp hours. So that would be 80 amps for an hour or eight amps for 10 hours or one amp for 80 hours. That's how they measure battery capacity. And this will give us a reading of how many amp hours of charge this battery currently has. Now, it's not the be all and end all because it could be Kate's doing short runs and she's got all these mod cons now. She's got all the heated seats and heated steering wheels and everything. So it may just be it's not charging enough because it's not being driven enough. Or it may be the battery's a bit. But if it hasn't had chance to charge, the battery may have a slightly low reading. So ideally you need to put the battery on charge overnight before you do this. But let's just do it for the video. Let's see what the battery charge is. Um, you can't just put it on because it it's looking at all the circuits on the car. It's really better to disconnect. We could, um, if we're disconnecting the battery, let's disconnect the negative terminal first, because that way if our spanner hits this bit of metal here, if we do the positive, we could be in trouble. Once the negative is disconnected, we're sort of somewhat safer. 
right? But we we got to put something under there to stop it. To stop it. Let's find an old rag. Look at that. Right then, and then we can disconnect this second one, which is the positive terminal here. Now, my rag might stop us. Oh, give him a wiggle. Oh, you might need a bit more. Come on. Right. So. Uh, we'll just position this somewhere out the way. I'll get a couple of bits and then we'll get the capacity tester on it. Right, with those propped out the way, we can get these little fierce crocodile clips. I don't think it matters which order we put them on. Make sure you get a good contact. And then onto the other battery terminal under there. There you go. All right, on we go. Right, and that, so it's got no battery in here because it uses the battery. Is that good? We got that. So it's powering up. It takes a while. Okay, and then it says select to calibrate. We don't need to calibrate. All right, and it's telling us we've got 12.5 volts. Press to test. You've got to press it when it says press to test. So it's testing the amp hour. So hoping for 80. 70 would be good. 99? What? Whoa! So let's do that again. Look at that. You've got, you got, you, you're giving more than it, than, it's ever, than it can even take. Goodness me, that's wild. I was using this this morning. We'll use it. I've got another battery down there that's a bit dead. We'll, we'll demonstrate it on that. All right, set to calibrate. All right, 12.5 volts. Testing. Hundred! Over a hundred! So, Kate, your battery's fine. Let's just prove that this magic box of tricks, they're not cheap, these magic box of tricks. I think it was over 100 pounds for this, but it's dead good. Right then, this battery here I think is a bit pooped. Let's try this one. He's been on charge, look. And he's supposed to be, I think this one's supposed to be 96 amp hours or, hold on, I've got to put this out of its misery. There we go, right. Um, so yeah, if I spin it round, look. So this one is 96 amp hours. Yeah. Right, let's put that on there. Anyway, the good news is, Kate, you've got an alternator that works. I just think you need to move further away from work. Yeah, it sounds like it. Power and up. Set the calibrate. 12.3 volts. Push to test. Oh, did I catch it right? you got to do it when... you got to press the... Other, it's the only thing I don't like about that tool. You've got to press it when it says press to test. It catches you. you got a good view on that? I'm trying. I don't know if I... Eight, eight, eight amp hours. And that's supposed to be 96, got eight. Yours is supposed to be 80, but it's rocking over 100. So, Kate, okay, good news. You've got a new battery. Um, should we just put the IID tool on it? Yeah. And we'll see if there's any stored fault codes. Yeah. And, then, and then you're good to go. Right, let's have a go. Where are we? Diagnostic. So we've plugged the IID tool in. Let's get the gap diagnostics up. And then, oh, from the developer. Hold on, not now. Oh, share feedback, right. Okay, let's connect to the tool. Let's see if it can find it. All right, I put the ignition on, Kate. I said, don't press that, there we go. We've got the ignition, waiting for ignition on. How's your reflection on the screen? Not too bad. Not too bad, is it? It's scanning the modules. So, Kate's just got this car, obviously it's a second-hand car. It'd be interesting to see what stored fault codes it's got. So there's the, it's also got low battery warnings come up on the screen as well. Mm. Um, so let's go into faults. Okay. Faults loaded. So it's going to read the fault codes. So it's going to go through every ECU, like the airbag ECU. It's going to go through them all transmission. Now, so it's saying it's got a fault with the ABS brake. It's got a fate with the audio. Um, a fault on the all wheel drive. Um, now, okay, let's have a look. Now, what we could do is just clear all the faults down. Let's see if I can see. So it says it's got a fault with the command, improper shutdown. Now, it may be because we disconnected the battery. Audio system, it's detected an open circuit. It discovered it on the 15th. When was that? 15th of Feb. Feb. That's a while back. We're in, we're in March now. And the interactive display had a fall on the 15th of Feb, it, day after Valentine's Day, it wasn't loving yeah, it. It wasn't feeling the love, was it? Maybe no. you didn't get any cards, Kate, I don't know. 
relatable. And when, when was that one, interestingly? Oh, that one was, hold on, when was that one? 2029. 29, shit me. God, I've got That's a fault good now. in the future. God, it's predicting faults you're going to have, Kate. How does he do this? These cars, I don't know, they're doing my nut now. Audio system, what date was that one? Oh, that was 15th. That's 15th, that day after Valentine's Day. Right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to clear all of those. Clear all of those. God, back to the future. Did they have a name for the DeLorean in Back to the Future? I don't know if they did. I don't know if they did. That could be the name for your car, Kate. Yeah, I think you left. Right then, here we go. So it's got, so it's, even after clearing the faults, it's got two persistent faults. Nothing to do with battery them, but there's two we need, might need to look at, Kate. Audio system is saying it's lost communication with the audio system. That's today. Yeah, bus signal message failure. Um, I don't know if we would need to worry about that too much. And the interactive display. So it looks like we've got some signal with the audio amp or something, but we're all we're all working, aren't we? Yeah. We got we got the we're rocking on. Oh, you turned it off. Oh. It's I think it's this one you turned off. I think you. Let's have a look. I think we got all audios working. Where's the screen gone? It's because of the low battery. It powers it? it down. It powers it down. Saves itself. Yeah. Right, but we're all good. So we'll record those anyway. Um, but I think, Kate, you're all good. You're all good for your drive this weekend anyway. <laughs>